Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the concept of ethnography that comes under software engineering. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of ethnography. So what is ethnography? So as you all know, software systems, that is uh, software, do not exist in isolation. What does it mean? Do not exist in isolation means they are used in a social and organizational context. That means in simple words, while developing a software, you need to understand the social needs and organizational needs. Also, social needs means you need to understand the customer, right, customer requirements you need to understand the company's requirements also I told you right while explaining uh, ethical standards right while developing a software you have to take care of both the needs your software should help the public in the same way it should uh, give profit to your company you have to develop your software right like that only so satisfying the social and organizational requirements is often critical for the success of the system yeah so if you want to succeed, if you want success of your software, you have to take care of this both uh, social and organizational requirements. Suppose uh, if it's meet uh, only organization requirement, then public won't use it. If you uh, meet to go, if it's going to meet only social requirements, then uh, company will suffer a loss. No, you have to balance both the requirements. So right, getting guys, how you are going to balance it? How you will understand that social and how you are going to decide which social requirement I need and which organizational requirement I need and which I can skip? How you are going to understand that? Ethnography helps you for doing that. Ethnography is nothing but it is an observational technique. It is an observational technique. You are going to observe some things. What you are going to observe? See here. It is an observational technique that can be used to understand social and organizational requirements. Right? It is an observational technique. Ethnography means you are going to observe some things. By observing the things, you are going to understand the requirements. For example, Ethnography is particularly effective at discovering two types of requirements. How we are going to observe means, for example, see here, requirements that are derived from the way in which people actually work rather than the way in which process definitions say. For example, theoretically books can tell so many things. Theoretically they can tell so many things, but you will gain some practical experience uh, when you see the actual working of the software, getting guys, what I am trying to say is theoretical concepts are one thing, but practical aspects are different things. Theoretically, uh, they may tell you should not do it, but when you use the software practically, you may come across some things that may not related to theoretical concepts. Getting guys, for example, see. Air traffic controllers. Air traffic controller means uh, it is going to control the traffic of aeroplanes. So, for example, air traffic controllers may switch off an aircraft conflict alert that detects aircraft with intersecting flight paths, even though normal control procedures specify that it should be used. For example, theoretically, what they tell means you should not uh, switch off the air traffic controllers air traffic controllers why should not, why we should not switch off means we may get the conflict get, uh, getting guys you may meet with the accident because uh, one aircraft may collide with the other aircraft if you switch off the air traffic controllers theoretically it says like that but practically sometimes see here even the normal control procedure specify that it should be used because air traffic controllers distracts from their work. Sometimes pilots may switch off that because it may distract their work. They may concentrate, they, sorry, they may not concentrate on their work because of its uh, uh, 
right push notifications right they make it irritated getting guys suppose a file is familiar with the path sometimes you don't need it getting guys if it's familiar with the path why you need a traffic controller theoretically it may tell that traffic controller should be switched off should not be switched off but practically he may switch off it it's his choice getting guys by observing the working of the software i may come across new requirements this is ethnography and also one more important thing requirements that are derived from cooperation and awareness of other people activities right requirements can be derived from cooperation and awareness of other people activities i can derive the requirements how by the cooperation of other people for example air traffic controllers i already told you right air traffic controllers may use an awareness of other controllers work to predict the number of aircraft that will be entering their control sector for example i have one traffic controller right i may use other traffic controller data to predict the number of aircraft that may enter enter the range of my aircraft getting guys here what i am doing i am observing other people data to predict my data here i can derive my requirement getting guys i am so other people for example uh, other aircraft control controllers can data can be used by me right that is the cooperation that is given by other pilots by using their cooperation i can collect the data and i can predict my data getting guys so in this way ethnography tells that you can derive the requirements by uh, using the uh, software practically and you can gain the knowledge and you can derive the requirements also along with that you may use this uh, cooperation that is extended by your other people to derive the requirements getting guys hope you are understanding suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right next so this is the diagram for ethnography and phototyping requirement analysis so see here ethnography analysis for example uh, ethnographic analysis means i already told you you can you uh, analy you have to do the analysis to discover the requirements how you are going to discover the requirements i already told you that next debriefing meetings means so you have to do the meetings which one to adopt which one to right which one to adopt and which one to neglect or ignore you will do the analysis of ethnography you will derive the requirements you will conduct the meetings next after that you will do, select some ethnographic requirements that is focused ethnography based on that requirements you are going to develop a system prototype prototype means what it is a dummy model uh, it exactly looks as your software i told you uh, if you want to uh, tell the custom for example when you are building the house instead of blueprint i can develop the dummy model dummy model of your house in a paper right in the same way i can develop a dummy model of the ethnographic requirements dummy model of that system using the actual requirements definitely getting guys ethnography requirements will also be there along with the actual requirements of the customer will also be there that is generic system development and lastly i will evaluate all those requirements i will ev evaluate the pr prototype prototype may contain both ethnographic requirement and also actual requirements generic requirements both the requirements will be there i will evaluate that prototype i will select uh, ethnographic requirements also and i will select the general requirements also based on the evaluation based on the evaluation hope you are understanding guys suppose see if you are not satisfied with the prototyping you can uh, conduct another meeting you can see the error mark 
if you are not uh, satisfied with the prototyping you can develop the other meeting and you again you can discuss again you can repeat the process getting guys hope you are understanding guys right so one more important thing i told you right ethnography may be combined with the prototyping i told you so the prototyping first of focuses the ethnography for identifying problems and questions that can be discussed with the ethnographer i already explained it right no worries so what is the advantage of using ethnography and what are the disadvantages of using the ethnography advantage here ethnographic studies can reveal critical process details that are often missed by other requirement techniques yes for example uh, regarding the air traffic controller right uh, if you use the software only you will get that right you will get that some ideas if you don't use the software you won't get that ideas so ethnography may reveal some requirements that are missed during the actual process of collecting the requirements that is the advantage you may come across some extra requirements getting guys but what is the disadvantage because of its focus on the end user this approach uh, approach is not appropriate for discovering organizational and domain requirements just remember this ethnography is best suited to collect the user requirements because practically who use the system user customer that's why ethnography is, is best suitable for collecting the customer requirements not the company requirements organizational requirements getting guys and one more important thing ethnographic study cannot always identify new feature that should be added to a system getting guys i am i can't guarantee that ethnography always identify the new features no i can't guarantee that i can uh, identify the new requirements chances are there but 100% uh, guarantee i can't give that ethnographic study can identify the requirement no i can't give that guarantee right and the last uh, disadvantage is ethnography is not a complete approach remember that ethnography is not a complete approach it should be right it should be used as a complement approach you have to carry out all the other activities related to the requirement collection along with that you can use the ethnography as the complement thing it's not a complete uh, procedure no 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 getting guys you have to use the procedures all the procedures that are discussed right along with that you can use this ethnography as a some part of process to collect the requirements it is a complement like process getting guys so hope you are understanding the concepts if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video